Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a cookie clicker app for iOS devices. So um, in one of the previous tutorials I showed how to make a cookie clicker app for a um, for Android, but this tutorial we're going to look at how to make a cookie clicker game for iOS, so to work on iPhones. Okay, so what we need to do is open up Xamarin and start Xamarin Studio or Visual Studio if that's what you're using and start a new solution. We're going to go with an iOS app and it's a single view app and we're using the C Sharp language. Okay, click on next, give your app a name. So I'll just call it Cookie Clicker iOS. I'm going to target minimum iOS 9 um, and then click next. I'll leave the project name and the solution name the same and I'm going to just store this in my projects folder. So I can just go ahead and click on create. Now, when you um, start a new um, iOS project or solution in Xamarin, you'll notice that appdelegate.cs is the first file that opens, but you can just close that. And what we want to open instead is a main.storyboard so we can start designing the screen. And what we really need to do in, for this screen, there's really only a couple of things that we need. And one is a text label that will display the number of clicks. And the other thing is just a button that will contain a cookie image on it. So there's not a lot to the actual design of the app, but you can go and extend it by adding extra buttons and extra labels and maybe some more features. So some items might unlock when you have a certain score. Um, Maybe you can purchase different items and there might be a timer or something like that as well. Anyway, we want to view as iPhone um, rather than just generic, pick a model that you're targeting. So maybe iPhone 6 and then zoom to fit. All right, just like that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start with the button, the actual cookie that the user is going to click or tap, so you're using a touchscreen device. So it's actually going to be a button and the button will contain an image background. So scroll down in the toolbox until you see button and then just drag a button onto your screen somewhere in the middle like that. Okay, now remember if you don't see the toolbox, you can always search for it up here and add it to the side of your screen. You can also click on view, pads, and then toolbox to get it back if it ever disappears. Okay, so we've got a button here. All right, now we need um, a cookie image for this, the background of this button. So what you need to do is find a picture of a cookie or whatever your um, button is going to have. So this is for any, this process is the same for any app where you want to use an image on a button. All right. But we just happen to be making a cookie clicker. So I already have a cookie image for my app. So what I'm going to do is I need to go to the resources folder, this one here. Just click on the resources folder and I'm going to add the cookie image to this folder. So I'm going to add it to my project. So I'll click on this little cog icon here next to resources and then add and add files from folder. Now I'll just go to my desktop because on my desktop I have a folder called images and inside here is where I have the image that I want to use in this image folder. There it is, cookie.png. So I'll just open that folder. I'll choose the file I want to include, which is cookie.png. Click on OK, and I want to copy this file to my project. So to copy file to directory, and OK. All right, now I've got, um, if you have a look in the resources folder, you can now see cookie.png is there. So it's now in the folder. All right, next thing that we need to do is we need to select the button that we just added a minute ago. All right, and on the properties panel here on the widget tab, we need to scroll down until we see the background property. And this is where we can change the background of this button to have an image. So we just click on the little drop down arrow and the image actually already shows up. Or well, we could just type it in, but it's already there, cookie.png. So I've selected that. Now the button's very small, so it's going to be very hard to tap or 
click this cookie. So we need to resize it. So if you click on the button, just drag out the corners to resize. And you could also resize the button on the actual um, properties panel here. Um, you can change some values here or on layout. Um, you can also change different values there. So for your positioning and sizing of this button. But you can just click and drag by hand until you're happy with the size. Okay. And you'll notice that the text, the actual word button is still on the button. So back on this widget tab, we can just scroll up until we see the title and remove button from the title. Okay, so now we just have a plain cookie image like that. And that's it. So um, we've resized the image, we've gotten rid of the button title. Uh, and now what we need to do is actually um, add a text label that will display the number of clicks. Okay, so we'll go and grab a label, drag that on here. We can make that a bit bigger so we can change the font. Scroll down until we see font. We can change the font style if we want, but I'm just going to change the size to be a bit bigger. And I'll just drag this out to resize it. So we've got plenty of room there. If we get a lot of clicks on this cookie, we can center a line. And then the default text will just say zero clicks. So when the app opens, before they've done any clicking, it's just going to say zero clicks like that. Okay, resize that a bit more. We could change the color if we wanted to. Um, we could pick whatever we want really, orange. It's up to you. That kind of suits the picture. All right, now we can click on the button again. We need to change its name. So we'll give it a name. So where it says name, change that to cookie button with a lowercase c for cookie and an uppercase b for button and it's all just one word so cookie button rename that now we need to change the name of the label click on that give it a name and we'll call it clicks label just like that and make sure that you save this so file and save or just command s to save and that's it for the design. All we need to do now is add the code. So we can open up viewcontroller.cs, double click on that. All right. Um, and what we need to do is we need to add a new variable that will actually store the number of clicks recorded. So the number of times the user has clicked or tapped on the cookie. So we'll create a new variable called clicks. It's going to contain an integer value because um, it can only be a whole number. So the user's tapped the cookie or clicked the cookie one, two, three, four, hundred, two hundred times. Um, but it can't be it can't be a decimal place there. It's just a whole number. So it'll be an integer. And it should have a default of zero. So it should have an initial value of zero before any clicks have been recorded. So if we go inside the public partial class view controller, um, UI view controller. All right we can add the following line of code. So just uh, not here, but here. After this little curly bracket here, we can hit enter or return, make some new lines there. And on one of those lines, we can type in int clicks equals zero. So we have a new variable called clicks. It's of the integer data type, integer data type, and it stores an initial value of zero. And that line with the semicolon, and that's our variable there. Now we need to just add a button touch event. So basically every time the cookie button is touched, the clicks variable, its value will increase by one. So we can go to the view did load method and then underneath base dot view did load, we can make some more space inside this method and we can start by adding a touch event. So referring to the cookie button, it's called cookie button. So we just type in cookie button dot touch up inside plus equals, hit the space bar, and then we see a list of different options here. We want to add this method here, cookie button 
underscore touch up inside. So we'll double click on that. And here we go, we've got that method that we can now go and add some code that will increase the value of the clicks variable every time the cookie button is tapped and also display the result on the screen. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go and add that now. So basically we can just type in clicks and we can get that variable. We can say clicks plus plus and what that will do is it will increase the variable by one. All right, so it's going up by one. Okay, so clicks plus plus and that line with a semicolon and then every time that the button is clicked, the variable go up by one, so it's increasing by one. We also want to display that um, the number of clicks on that clicks label. So we get clicks label, type that in, clicks label dot text equals clicks dot two string. So we're converting the integer to a string. Just in this line, we're not permanently converting the variable to a string, we're just in this line converting it to a string to display on the label. Um, we need open close bracket there, and then we're going to add, so it will say, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, every time the user taps the, or clicks a cookie. We also want to add the word or space and then the word clicks at the end of that text. All right, and so just add that string there inside some quotes and that line with a semicolon and that's it we can save the code make sure that this is saved as well storyboard file and then we can just run it so click on build and here it is it's just building loading the simulator Okay, there we go. So this is a simulator with our app. We've got the cookie button here. We have it saying zero clicks. If I go and click or tap the cookie, it suddenly changes to one clicks and keep clicking, it will go up. Okay. All right, so um, it's a pretty basic game but can be strangely addictive. Um, so it's basic cookie clicker, but now that you know how to add a button that's actually got an image background, that can be quite handy for any app really, whether it's just a game like this or whether it's something a bit more serious, um, you might want to use images or logos as buttons instead of just having plain text buttons. So you now know how to do that and you also know how to change the value of a label based on a button touch or click event um, and there's a few things that could be added to this to make it a bit more fun so maybe adding a timer um, maybe uh, adding some items that can be unlocked or purchased um, when there's a certain number of clicks having the clicks increase automatically using a timer um, things like that so there's a lot there that can be done but that's basically a very simple cookie clicker game on iOS Thanks for watching.